Bobby here back. Hello, hello. Hi, how are you? Hello, teacher. Hey, nice Hi, to meet fine. you guys. Good pretty night. good. Pretty good, pretty good. There you go. Okay, that's what I need. Somebody changed my uh, the, the view of my uh, class, but no, I prefer it this way. All right, I have Rosa Dahlia today. Oh, don't tell me that today's will be a girls' night as well. Hey, hey. All righty, I do have a Vero, Elsie, Gabby, Cecilia, and Cleese. No, Claudia, 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 Cecilia. Hey, hey, Gabby. <laughs> it lost the color of your blouse. Thank you. Hey, hey. How are you, girl? Yeah, pretty good. But, oh no, you see, I, I better do not say girls because Jaime just came a few seconds ago. <laughs> so there won't be girls night anymore, right, Jaime? Just because of you, my oh, boy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey guys, how was your weekend? Did you do something special? No. We well, uh, nope. in my case, I rest a lot great and, uh, yeah and uh, i went um to the clinic for a, a physical exam but for a checkup uh, okay yeah but in mm -hmm. they didn't oh well, they didn't because i was late for 10 ah. minutes mm. oh no that's I hate yeah. that, you know, that sucks. Yes. Because 10 yes. minutes is a 10 minute. They're not supposed to yeah. be 15 minutes. Right. Oh yeah. my God. So they reschedule it? Yes. Yeah. For August uh, 14. Oh, for the 14th of August. Yeah. Also in a couple of weeks, maybe, right? Yes, because they mm -hmm. uh, they will be in um a vacation. Oh, holiday. I'm talking about that, guys, we're going to have the vacation. Really? Yeah. Oh, oh my God. I, 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 let me check. Yeah, we're going to have the vacation. So I think we're coming back on the night of August, if I'm not mistaken. So we're going to have the vacation just to let you know in advance. <laughs> I, for, I forgot. Thank you, Elsie, for reminding me. Okay. Yeah. And everybody, thank you, Elsie, because the teacher will say, <laughs> we're going to go class. No, okay. <laughs> well, I have to let you know, I'm, I'm not used to get vacations because, to be honest with you, I'm, be, I'm working for the company out of states, right? So we do, we do not have uh, vacations, actually. It depends Ooh. on what kind of company you work for. And uh, sometimes and they do have vacations, depends on the people they work with, right? They're related to, uh, but sometimes and most of the time they don't, <laughs> only the main holidays. So I'm not used to get holidays, to be honest with you. Not even the, we, the, the ones that we have here in El Salvador. So yeah. for me, I had to work like a normal day. Of course I get paid double, but, um, but for me, it's, it's fine. I only had the 15, well, the 50 days of vacation annually. Um, but if, but in your case, if it depends on me, I will continue working with you guys. For me, it's no problem. But I know that you need this sort of vacation, right? <laughs> I'm mean, like, yes, we need it desperately, right? You, you need vacation, right? He's going to go again to the beach with the whole family from Friday on to uh, Sunday and at night, right? Maybe that's the plan. And we cannot listen to you, Jaime. What's happened with your microphone? Yes, we we will take vacation. You will say vacation? The whole, the whole, yeah, the whole uh, week. Oh, that would be amazing that you can take vacations. Yeah. Oh, well, Peter, that would be nice. I, yes. I I have a, I don't know, comment maybe. Ah. Today, I, I had a, an interview. And if, uh, uh, because I am looking for a new job. You search for? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So um, the the interviewer asked me, "Are you bilingual?" <laughs> and I'm scared. And I say, um, "Yes, eighty-five <laughs> percent." I say, and he continued the interview in English. No oh kidding, Elsie. Yeah. I but almost everything. <laughs> yeah, because okay. they asked me about my dreams, about my career, mm -hmm. about my goals, 
Oh, oh yeah. God. They can, they can yeah. like, it will be like a brainstorm of questions. They can ask you yeah. whatever they come yeah. in their main. Yeah, that's what it is. Mm -hmm. But it's too much for me. <laughs> no. But I, but I say, uh, my English is not very well, but uh, I'm my, ex, yeah, my ex uh, um, boss told me the important thing is that the other people understand you. Uh -huh, exactly. And, I, and, and then uh, he se puso más blandito. I don't know what he's uh, <laughs> he returned the conversation a little bit cold. He yeah, calmed yeah. down. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I know, but I know. That I, happens. I'm very, I'm very um excited Happy. about this. Yeah, that's nice. Uh, congratulations, Elsie. Yeah, Thank that's you. what I make you speak. Because what what they do when they ask you those bunch of questions is that to check how self confident you are. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Imagine in my case that I work with a trilingual account. They they start the conversation in Spanish, then they switch back to English, then they switch back to French, then back to English, then back to Spanish, and like oh my oh good, my they didn't say they didn't say, hey, we're gonna talk about today in Spanish, and then we then we start in English. No, they will like speaking like you and me right now and they switch like and my brain has to switch the, remember th those pens that you can like click at the top and then comes the red ink then the green ink then the black ink and it's like oh my god so oh. after that interview i had a headache that you cannot imagine yeah <laughs> I was like, so i remember yeah, the that viewer is it's packed two hours okay oh my goodness yeah the, in the, the interview yeah uh, last last for two yeah. hours. Yes. yes. Wow. Yeah. I'm headache right now. Sorry. I have been in an interview that lasts the whole day, you know. Oh, <laughs> because Sorry. I've been evaluating a lot of no, yeah, I know. I've been in a call center for around 10 years, so I know what's going on there. Oh, okay. So well. I have I have idea about that. Yeah. Hey, but lucky you, Elsie. Hopefully they will keep they will give you a call back, right? Yes, thank yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, he said that. He said that. Yeah, that's amazing. It's nice to hear that. Yeah. So don't worry because today we're gonna we will continue talking. <laughs> yes, thank yeah. you. Thank you. Yeah, thank no, you for, thing, for, no. for allow me to share it with my with you and my and my co partners. Uh, absolutely welcome Elsie anything that not only makes us feel good but at the same time see that uh your intervention or your the information that you share with us it helps your co-workers or your classmates because it's it seems like you see English is really important nowadays yeah. it's really really right. important it's a clue so we must yeah. learn it yeah. we must learn it because open many doors yes you see? yes Hey, so yeah, uh, hey, and you know what? If you got a job, you gotta let us know, okay? Yes, not, yes, yeah, yeah. yeah. We're going to be in the expectation, like yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm so happy for you, Elsie. Hopefully, you know what? I used to have another co work, another classmate, a milker, and he got the job. He he's he's working right now in Blackhawk right now. Wow. Good, good for him. For him, it was not. It was tough as well because teacher, I got nervous at the first interview. I'm like. Come on. They said I need to work on this. Oh, okay, we're going to work on this. And then, teacher, I'm almost there. He was like, oh, no, I will give up. No, you never give up, I told him. And now he's, he's part of the Black Hawk team. So that's good. Yeah. And you good. know what? You will, continue, you will learn a lot. Yeah, thank you. Whew, I'm so happy. We're, we're happy for Elsie, aren't we? Thank yeah, you. right. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> Good news to start Monday class. Woo. Yes. You see, it's Monday. Everybody hates Mondays, including me. But uh, I don't know why I have a lot of energy today. No kidding. No. Hi, man. Now it's working fine. Your microphone is it working fine. Hello. Yes. 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 I don't know why we couldn't hear you at the beginning. I have a technical uh, problems. Ooh. Is it raining all where you are right now or no? No, it's not raining. I don't know about you guys, but yesterday here at my home, it rains a lot that I opened the door and my pets could slept like a babies. Everybody, everybody was sleeping on my on my bed. Can you imagine? My husband, me, my two dogs and my cat, they were like, <laughs> that was amazing. <laughs> I, I I wish I could take the picture, but I could. 
<laughs> hey, so now, guys, tell me about your weekend. Besides Elsie, what else did you do this weekend? And thank you so much, Rosa Dali. Go ahead. I knew what you said. <laughs> okay. Hi, hi. Hey. Hi, everybody. No, my last weekend is very good because uh, my husband and me, we went to Potonico, Chalatenango. Mm. And we mm -hmm. have visited uh, uh, for my partner-in-law. Okay. And yes, and watch it the the football, the soccer. No, Qatar and, versus yes, Salvador. Oh, yes, yes. <laughs> we love no, yeah, yeah. We cry, but it's it's a good because um, we we can we can no. Um, good. We watch it a good a good play. A good like, soccer game. I, I guess her game. Thank you so Definitely. much. Definitely. Yes, yes. With some sodas and nachos, right? Ah, the beers. <laughs> ah. <Okay>. Yes. <laughs> oh, well, you, you enjoyed it. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Because, no, it, it's porque Potonico Charlatanango is what? really hot. Ah, really, I don't know where it is. Really hot. It's really? Uh, like a river oh. um, from. No, it's, it's near to Lempa. Ah, maybe? okay, got it. Yes. yes oh, yeah, maybe. it's hot. Yes, it's, it's really, Ooh. really hot. Yeah. It's, it's, That's it's why you need totally kind of cold beverages, right? Yes, uh -huh. yes, one, <laughs> but it's, it's really nice. <laughs> yeah, I can imagine. And, then, and yes, so your parents will know that the house is has a lot of trees or no? Yes, it's a lot of trees and the house is very big. Oh. So, yeah, yeah, it is, but it's hot because it's near to the water. Yes, I can imagine that. Uh, as yeah, long as you yes. have a hamaca, it will be fine. Yes, it's really nice because we have a um, uh, macas. Ah, that's Onk. one of the best ways to sleep. Yes, and yes. we ate we eat, uh, fish. <gasps> fry fish? Uh, no fry is uh, asado. It's grill. Broiler. Grill. 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 Yes. Oh, no, yes. but it's still it's good. delicious. And tamales. Oh, yes. And tamales. Yes, Made it for yes. your mother in law. Wow. Yeah. It's, mm. it's a right. good cook. Oh, she's a yes. chef, actually. Yes. And yes. with a yes. good cup of coffee, right? Oh, yes. Of course. <laughs> Definitely. Definitely. And the pan dulce. And the, really <laughs> and the sweet bread delicious. and the sweet bread yeah sweet bread is very uh, especially delicious especially what is what is the one that says hey, wait a minute my quesadillas a, no yes but there's a friend hello <laughs> is that is that your husband <laughs> the way what what is he was it was he your husband yes oh, okay the one that he first say oh, hi yes okay i got a brand new student by the way i said okay Oh, nice uh, to meet you, sir. It's been a pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> yes, he write he he um write about uh, uh what we what we eat in Chalatana. <laughs> oh, what what you ate in Chalatanango? Yes, oh, thank you. Uh -huh. Very good. That's nice. <laughs> That's amazing, yes. right? Don't you think, guys? Thank you, yes. Rosalada, for sharing your okay. your weekend. That was amazing. I wish Thank I could have you. one of those. What about no. you, uh, Gabby? Gabby Velasquez, because I have Gabby in Los Angeles, but I need to hear about <laughs> Gabby Velasquez. Did you, by any chance, visit your rabbit? Yes, ah, I was see, about I to it. tell you that. Aha, uh -huh, I knew it. <laughs> yes, I could. What happened with that I baby could. bunny? Oh, I hope him so much. Oh. <laughs> uh, my father loves him more than than you <laughs> than me yeah, so I can't imagine it <laughs> so he was like oh i see the bunny's a little bit sad he's not saying happy always i think i will buy him i will buy him a friend and i was like what <laughs> a friend you mean a baby girl a baby girl bunny but any chance? No, a no, boy, a, but a boy. No, ah, just okay. for company. A pal. Okay. But and I was thinking like, um, we had the cat, and the cat is like, oh, and they get 
they're good with each other, but ah, okay, uh, that's good because I think he's he's making some excuses to ah. my other <laughs> other ah. bunny. But, but that's good. <laughs> yeah, but, uh, for me, no problem. <laughs> you will have another baby. Yes. Yeah. And I saw my mama too. Oh. Uh, I miss her so much, and I could see her and also my my dad and my brothers. And I played um, PlayStation 3. Really? Um, yeah. He bought um, three games, three new games. So it that was, was good. nice. It was really good. <laughs> yeah. I wish you still play video games because, in my case, I remember that I, the last video game that I played was Sega. No idea. It was it was the 1990 something, right? 1999, right? Mm -hmm. Thing, yeah. So after that, I don't know anything about uh, video games. I have to update about it to be honest with you because I, I used to play, but no, not anymore. Yeah, I wish I could, but that's good. At least you spend time with your family and friends and your baby bunnies, of course. Who else? Who else? Claudia Lisa Velasquez. What about you? It's your time. She was like. <laughs> like always <laughs> yeah, always well, exactly <laughs> hi everyone i hope you've been doing well in my case my weekend was a little well plain i'd say because i i rest a lot i oh. play video games with my husband we like to play mario kart oh really I know that yes. for sure. I know that. We Mario know that. Like, hey, yes, of course, yes. I used to yes. play that. <laughs> and we watch some movies and cartoon movies. Cartoons. By the way. Yeah. Yes. Which one? The um, Boss Baby 2. Oh, you see? That, that, was, was it good? Was it good? <laughs> yes, yeah. Was ah, that's good. great. Very interesting. And we went to see our fathers in law okay that we um see them a few times after quarantine but they are very good with oh, good health yeah. and we are happy to see them healthy yes of course and that's it <laughs> very good that was nice everybody right now so far everybody had to spend a really good weekend right that's amazing mm -hmm. Thank you so much, Liz. What about you, Brenda Beatriz Calderon? <laughs> now this is a trauma girl. How was your weekend, girl? She's saying to the girl, be quiet. I'm sorry. It's I, don't know. My, my I know, story. I know, worry. That's okay. It's very nice. <laughs> okay. In my... Hey, how you doing, baby girl? <laughs> oh, in my, in my weekend. <laughs> I know, teacher. In my weekend, I I stay in my home and I study with my daughter. Um, I watch the movie Harry Potter. Okay. And I I'm more sleep. <laughs> that's good. No, that's good because sometimes we had to work outside home, right? And uh, we are tired. So if your if your body says go to sleep, you gotta go to sleep. That's good, Beth. Thank you, Beatrice. I also, I see Elsie also spent time at home. Also, Liz, so far. What about Marilyn Monroe? What about you, my girl? Hey, Marilyn. Hey. Hi. Hi. How was your weekend, girl? Okay, my weekend um, is the Saturday. I, I sleep until night. Ooh, that's great. The last week, it, it was very tired. Or very tough. Um, I don't remember. I don't remember. <laughs> Come Sunday on, it was like two I, days ago. I, I, <laughs> <laughs> the Sunday went uh, to the shore. Okay, in very the good. Morning. In the morning. Um, the afternoon, I stay in, in home. You stay home. And, it's good. And, but any oh, changes? Yeah. You, you, did you see Baby Boss 2 as well? I'm just asking. <laughs> I don't know. Did you watch uh, Netflix or something like that? Yeah. Uh, did no, you watch a movie? I, no. 
Um, no, no, I read. You read. Book. You read a book. Yeah. That's great. Excellent. Good job. I love when somebody loves to read. <laughs> yes. If you read, you learn a lot. I love. Yes. yes. It's I one of my passions. Reading. <laughs> Very good. And as a teacher, we have to read a lot, guys. So, <laughs> yes, definitely. Very good. Thank you, Marilyn. Uh, Blanky, what about you, Blanky? How was your weekend, girl? Hi. Um, I, I had to, uh, to take care of my husband. <laughs> oh, you had to take care of your husband? Is he sick? Because he was sick, yes. Uh, we we think is COVID. Oh no, hopefully not. Yes, uh, he spent three days with fever. With fever, yeah. Yes, but uh, today, gracias a Dios, uh, he, he felt he's felt better. Oh, that's amazing! I'm so happy to hear that. But about you, you feel you feel good? Yes, okay. yes, I'm happy. Oh, so you had to spend time at home, right? Hmm. But at least you're <laughs> you're here and you're good. So I'm happy about that. And also yes. we're happy that your husband is okay as well. Yes. <laughs> Thank you, Blanky. Thank you for sharing, okay? Thank you. Jaime, what about you? Good evening, everybody. Good evening, sir. Uh, I got a question. Am I the only man in this classroom? I think so. You're the lucky one. Can you imagine? <laughs> Oh, right isn't it amazing I mean? it is it is amazing <laughs> you see you have a lot of beautiful girls around you what else you can ask for come on <laughs> <laughs> all righty go ahead sir well my my uh, weekend was very great I, I went to supermarket i went to to the kindergarten of my son mm -hmm. mm -hmm. i went to visit my mother it's a miracle of god that she's alive because one month ago, uh, she was very, very sick. Ooh. But I'm, I'm happy because she's better. Uh -huh. she's happy. better. We're happy too. Yeah. yeah. It was a pleasure to be with my mother all the weekend. On hey. Saturday. Okay. Yes. Uh, well, it, it was very, with my, with my brother and sister and nephews, it was very special. Of course, when you are with your family, your friends is always a special. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah. So they say, Uncle Jaime, Uncle yes. Jaime, right? And they yes. hug you, right? And kiss you. Like, oh, I, I love kids a lot. Hey. You only have one baby boy, right? Yes, one. Just one. Is enough. <laughs> <laughs> How old is him? Uh, he is seven years old. Ten? Seven. A seven. No, but he's still a baby. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm so happy. Thank you, Jaime. Hey, thank you. Claudia de Enriquez, how are you? Is your time to speak? Don't worry. <laughs> I have to read Claudia's. Can you imagine? Goodness, the teacher is gonna is going to get crazy on us because of you guys. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, good night for everyone. Good night. Well, on Saturday, I went to dinner with my both sons and with her, one of them has a girlfriend and okay. she, she went with us. And on Sunday, uh, we went with my husband to looking for a furniture and in, the, in the morning. Mm -hmm. But in the afternoon, we went to the cabin Cabin, I think that is the name of that. Uh, with our uh, little pet. Oh. Yeah. And that's all. And we saw um, a movie too in Netflix. And in the night, at night, we ate pupusas. It was delicious. I knew it. Yes. Every time that you, that you have dinner with pupusas, it's delicious. Yes. <laughs> did you prepare them or did you ask for the liver? What? Sorry? Oh, did you prepare them or did you ask for the liver? For the liver, sorry. 
sometimes I just have a bridge accent. Deliver, delivery. De delivery, yes, delivery. Ah, no, we, we, I don't know, uh, pedimos. Uh, you ask for. We ask for delivery. Ah, uh -huh, you see, that's what I ask you. <laughs> you ask for yes. delivery. That's yes. nice. Nowadays, uh, with the COVID, yeah. uh, we are, we, we, we know, I don't know how to say it. We are, we. We do go out. Don't go out. To eat pupusas, no. 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 It depends the place. Depends on the place. Yeah. The okay. That's nice, but I put all this amazing. Okay. Oh my uh, God, you see, we have a, another baby girl in class. Uh, <laughs> oh, I love to have um, a new students with four pads, <laughs> four pads students. Hi, baby girl. Oh, I love her. Oh, I, you know what? I'm being a really lucky teacher because most of my students uh that i've been teaching um classes to they have pets <laughs> yes they and you know what we once we almost made a session with the whole pets it was really amazing because everybody was showing the pet uh, oh my god oh no he looks like whiskey one of my pets oh <laughs> i'm so happy hey what cloudy did you have your girl with you your pet no I thought I thought Claudia the Enrique was hanging on her pet or no? Yes, I have I have a pet and she's is, is 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 she around there by any chance? Uh, she is running with oh, when with my with my son. Oh, right now. oh <laughs> you see, we have to oh no, he's a schnauzer. I love the schnauzers by heart. My pet is a chitsu. It's, it's a chitsu. Oh, it's beautiful as well. <laughs> Yeah. Well, guys, we can make us an English Zoom classes with pets one day. Don't you think? <laughs> that would be amazing. That would be really cool. All right, guys. And let me listen also. Cecilia. Cecilia, what about you? Yes, finally, girls, your time to speak. Go ahead, girl. Hi, everybody. Hello. <laughs> uh, well, my weekend was uh, very busy. As always. Yeah. Uh, celebrating the birthday of one of my my daughters and that since friday oh, last since friday. friday yes every day we'll celebrate it with friends and family oh my goodness and, Ooh, it's like a princess yes. okay uh, uh, yes but my daughter is not little it's not too little um uh, i think that was a good celebration for <laughs> everyone <laughs> and today it was so difficult because uh, my car broke down oh and, no <laughs> yes uh, but uh, i have some neighbor good neighbors and they helped me mm -hmm. and i finish i uh, go to my work okay late but i i come i there i say you there. are right there yeah fine yeah you you could get there yeah yeah and that's cool you know what but it, you can you know guys that cecilia every weekend here she has a different story <laughs> something 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 incredible happens to her every weekend i don't know why but that's cool <laughs> because we're waiting for your story <laughs> Thank you, Ceci. That was amazing. And yeah. last but not least, Anita Beatriz Pineda. And yes, it's your turn, my girl. We're going to listen to her, hopefully. So, is everything okay? Yes, cool. Okay, Anita, what about you? How was your weekend, girl? <laughs> Something happens with her. I have a pretty. Do you hear me? Yes, we can hear you. Do you hear me? Yes, we can. No? Yes. Okay. Okay. Well, I have a really relaxed weekend. On mm -hmm. Saturday, I went to visit my parents and we saw the the play, the game. And then uh, on Sunday, I was watching TV all day long. I was watching a series on Netflix. It's called 
daughter from another mother. Ah, uh -huh, uh -huh. <laughs> and that's it. I was in my house all day. Very good. You say home. All right, guys. Did you listen? There were two classmates of yours who stayed home and watched Netflix or watched movies. Do you remember who they were? Uh huh. Memory game. Come on, guys. Come on, I know it's Monday, but come on with energy. Uh-huh. Jaime, do you remember who were the one who were talking about stay home and watch movies? Jaime, come on away. I don't remember. <laughs> I don't remember. Well, at least Anita is one of them because she just say it. So we're good on that. Yeah. And as he said, Anita, come on, I'll help him. <laughs> okay, very good. What about the other one, Gabby? Velasquez. Um, Claudia, um, Claudia Lisette. Very good, good memory. Congratulations. <laughs> I think Jaime is because he's like impact because he's in the middle of all beautiful women. So I understand that perfectly, right? So that's why he's like shock. Okay, very good. <laughs> what about who said that she had a tremendous dinner because she ended up her the weekend eating pupusas with his with her husband. Who said that? Who said Claudia, that? Claudia. Claudia, Claudia what? We had three Claudia Claudias. Enrique. Enrique. Yeah, very good, excellent. What about, there were two people who said that they visit their, their, their family, right? One visit, his mom spent the whole weekend with her and the other one is visit their parents uh, in law, right? And they had a really good time laying on hamacas and had a grilled fish and all stuffs and alcohol beverages by heart. So who said that? Do you remember? Rosa Dalia. Rosa Dalia was one of them. What about the other one? Jaime. Jaime, yeah. He, that was easy. That was the only man in the class. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Hey, guys, and who said that apparently her father uh, is going to buy a new, I think it's going to buy a new bunny. Who Gabby. said that? Gabby. Gabby what? I got two. Gabby. I got Velasquez and I Gabby have Sanchez. Velasquez? Yes, you're right about that. And guys, this is for everybody who just appeared a few seconds ago. Julio Quintero. Yeah. I Claudia's baby. Oh my God. He's my baby. So, so <laughs> lovely. Oh, it's really lovely. And Jaime, you arrived finally. Jaime, you're not the only man. Can you imagine? Thank you, Julio. He said, Finally. Finally. You know what, <laughs> Sorry, Julio? He said, Am that. I the only man here in the class? And I said, Lucky you, man, because you are blessed to surround her around those beautiful women. But then. Yes, Yes, yeah, so he was he was agree with me in that time, but now you came, so he doesn't feel alone. <laughs> hey guys, he said, yeah, yeah. Well, welcome to the jungle one more time. You see, we already started speaking. I told you guys with me, you're you're gonna speak. You don't have no choice. Okay, so guys, let me ask you something. Um, have you ever traveled not around the con no outside the country, but around the country where maybe like Julio, right? I think Julio last week, he was in San Miguel, right? Yeah, I think so, right? Well, I don't know if he's still in San Miguel. And um, somebody went to like, um, I think he was, who was the one who said that? Rosa Dalia, I think. It was the one she said that they visit um, the parents-in-law, right? In Chalatenango, right? Uh-huh. So guys, um, I don't know if you had, if it had happened to you that you arrived to the specific place is in a hotel, for example, and you had to ask many questions like, where can I get this? Oh, where is the nearest ATM, for example? Or oh, at what time the restaurants here in the um, in hotel opens? At what time the collection closes, et cetera? So there's a lot of questions that we ask. We have learned the two types of questions, right? Do you remember? the um, just now questions, the WH questions, but guys, have you used or have you heard about another type of questions, which is the indirect question? Have you have you heard that before? Have you used it? Yep. Yep? Yes. Okay. 
Cool. Yeah. So it would be easy peasy queasy for you, Jaime. <laughs> He's like, mm. okay. <laughs> He's like, mm, I have my doubts. Mm. Okay, guys, we're gonna learn the we're gonna like review this, the Android questions with WH, but we're gonna use three main auxiliaries. We're gonna use two, we're gonna use B, and we're gonna use can. Do be a can. We have used that before. But before we get into, we're going to start developing our listening skill, right? And what I want you guys to pay attention to is like this guy just arrived to the hotel. Actually, he's in front of from the skirt. You know what front the skirt is? No? Yes. Yes. Okay. Like it's diff is different. It's different for reception. It's different. Okay, because from this clerk, basically we call the person who is the first person that you saw when you are right to the to the lobby of a hotel, right? Is a front desk clerk. It's different for receptionist. Reception is more like an office, but front desk clerk is more like a hotel environment. That is one of the differences. Could Most of right. the Yes, front desk clerk. Yes, and most of the time, the front desk clerk does some activities that receptionists uh, also do, but um, it is the front desk clerk is always is uh, related to hotels environment. Front desk clerk. I'm going to give it to you. There you go. Okay, there you go, Claudia. Front desk clerk. Okay, so this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to play this audio. Hey. You're welcome, Cody. Uh, you, I want you to listen to their conversation, okay? And we can talk about that conversation in generally. And then I'm gonna play the audio one more time and I'm gonna ask you for a specific questions about that uh, conversation, okay? So just allow me a couple of minutes. There you go. Okay. Oops, no, that's not what I need. That's not what I need, teacher. You so yes, I so I have a lot of audios you cannot imagine, but don't watch that. <laughs> Just kidding. All righty, let me check. Okay, there you go. Eleven exercise eight. You listened, yeah? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Conversation. Could you tell me? Part A. Listen and practice. Excuse me, could you tell me where the nearest ATM is? There's one upstairs, across from the duty-free shop. Great. And do you know where I can catch a bus to the city? Sure. Just follow the signs for transportation. Okay. And can you tell me how often they run? They run every 20 minutes or so. And just one more thing. Do you know where the restrooms are? Right behind you. Do you see where that sign is? Oh, thanks a lot. Okay. Only one time. I'm going to be a bad teacher because I had to let you know something. From now on, I'm going to play the audio only one time. Teacher, yes, I know. I know that you will hate me. Sorry, you will love me. But um, it's for your good. Okay, Gabby. <laughs> Thank you so much for turning on the camera. You're so famous. Why girl. did I? Yeah, why did I turn it on? <laughs> all right. I, I just want to ask you, like, I, I don't want you to give me like deeply the information about that. But what is exactly that conversation about? In general. Um, uh, it's about uh, man that wants to know like basic um, things about a new place that he don't know. And he doesn't he is, know. Uh -huh. uh, yeah. And he wants to know things like where is uh, an ATM, where's the bus station, uh, what are the schedules. Mm -hmm. Very good. Excellent. That's it. That's it. Are you agree with her? You have a different opinion? Julio's like, <laughs> no. He's like, 
eating, right? Eating, eating. No, I'm just kidding. All right, no. Uh huh. Everybody's agree with her. Okay, cool. Now, guys, I'm gonna play it one more time, but I, because of one reason, I want you guys to pay attention to the questions. That um, in this case, the person who arrives to the from this clerk ask the girl in this case. All right. How do you say Westpit? Us. Guess. Guest. Guess. The guess. Exactly. Guess. The guess. Re listen carefully. Guess. Guest. There's guess. a difference. Yes. There's a difference not only in writing, because guess, like the one who arrives at the hotel, is with double S, and the other one is S T at the end. But what's the difference? One of them is the person who arrives to the hotel, right? The first one, guess. But the other one, guest, is you're asking like to figure it out something, to find out. Adivinar, guest. Guess what? It's gotta be me. <laughs> like just kidding, right? So yes, you, you have to pay attention, guys, to the pronunciation, okay? Very good, excellent. All right, so let me play the audio one more time. And I want you guys, if you want to write it down, good. If you have a good memory, that's good for me. But I'm going to ask you for the questions, okay? I think it was how many questions? Let me check. Hi, teacher, you already have that. Yes. Um, yeah, question. Um, I, uh -huh, I think there are four. Yes, there are four of them. Okay, let me share right now my screen once again. Are you guys ready? Yes, of course. There you go. Page 11, exercise eight, conversation. Could you tell me part A, listen and practice. Excuse me, could you tell me where the nearest ATM is? There's one upstairs across from the duty-free shop. Great. And do you know where I can catch a bus to the city? Sure. Just follow the signs for transportation. Okay. And can you tell me how often they run? They run every 20 minutes or so. And just one more thing. Do you know where the restrooms are? Right behind you. Do you see where that sign is? Oh, thanks a lot. So, what is one of the questions? Do you know the bus in the city? What, do you know where what? Sorry? The bus in the city. Very good. Okay. What else? Could you tell uh, me? Here is a Very good, Jaime. Uh -huh. The other one? Do you, do you know, know for the restaurant? Uh-huh. That was the other one. Very good, Claudia. Very good. What happened, Rosa Dalia? Can you please repeat it? Do you know for the restaurant, maybe? Uh-huh. The restrooms. Mm -hmm. The restrooms. Mm-hmm. Oh, they are there, right behind you, right? And right behind you. uh huh. And for the run, how often does the bus run? Uh huh. How, how often does the bus run? Yes. Okay, it's very good, excellent. Okay, cool. All right, so let's go back to business. Let me show you right now on my screen. Excellent job! My goodness, you have studied a lot. Mm -hmm. Congratulations. Hey, by the way, did you practice the listening activity that I sent it to you by any chance? Yes. yes. Was, was it useful? Yes, yes, I got a question. Uh, what's the question, Liz? And in the video, they say the full stop uh, is using two sentences. Dot is using in email addresses. Mm -hmm. But when we call it Period. Ah, because... period is the same list as full stop. Okay. You know, the problem is the full stop, they use it in British. Okay. In, in British English. That's why I gave you that. Because when they're talking about full stop, what they're talking about. Full stop, when they say full stop, is another way to say period. Okay. And another one is the dash is the same as hyphen. Yes, hyphen. 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 Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. And how yeah. do you say guión bajo? Lower. 
Lower dash. dash. Lower. Lower dash. dash. Oh, okay. okay. Mm -hmm. Lower Thank one. You. Lower and upper. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thanks. You're welcome. What, what happened, Jaime? Sorry. Sorry, teacher. How do you say guión bajo? Lower what, guys? Lower down. But lower down what? Lower dash. Lower, lower dash. dash. Lower dash. Lower dash. Lower dash. Lower dash. Yes. Lower and upper, right? Or the middle one. Also, you can mm -hmm. say hyphen. Thank you. You're welcome. What That's about cool. teacher? What about under dash? Under dash. You can also say under dash as well. Okay. Thank you. Underscore you can say lower. It's not the same. What? Underscore. Underscore as well. Oh, okay. Underscore. There's many ways to say it. That's why I put it with you. Because sometimes we use it in American way, but there is an, 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 a different names. I'm similar, but some of them are different in British. So that's why I, I gave you that, um, that audio. Because uh, you need to like listen carefully and also guys to learn how they called uh, the same symbols right now. In this case, the punctuation that we're seeing and also in British way. For example, there are many words that they are different, not only talking about punctuation, guys. For example, um, if we hear in American, American English, we said apartment, right? Apartment with two, with four walls and everything. But there they said that they call apartment, but they said flat. And it's, mm -hmm. ex and it's exactly the same thing, right? Mm -hmm. And another thing, for example, um, here in American, American English, we use candy for the little thing that comes on the, with bags, right? With mint flavor and everything. And we use the adjective sweet for flavors or also to describe somebody's personality, right? She's so sweet, etc. But in British, they call, they use sweet, not only to describe people's personalities, but also for they, the sweet is the candy as well. So it depends on the environment. So you see, guys, when you are learning a foreign language like this, this case in English, you got to not only learn grammar, speaking and everything, you also guys need to develop the culture of all the countries that speaks that language as a first or as a second language. So you need to know about cultural thing as well. This part of learning a foreign language. So here with me, you're going to learn cultural things because it's mm -hmm. really, really important. For example, the English of Canadian English is different for Australian people. It's different from Jamaica one. Mm -hmm. You cannot imagine. But if you understand British one, you're good because they're kind of, it's really, it's, they speak really fast. So guys, I'm going to it's send you another different. thing. It's totally different. And about the, the pronunciation of some words. Exactly, the pronunciation, exactly, and so forth. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Butter. Mm -hmm. Butter. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Butter. Yes, so that, that's why sometimes I try to speak English like that for you as well. Because you need to like, get used to your listening skill. You see? Yes. So you're going I to have a things. London friend. Really? I have a London friend. Oh. And I, I learn English and she learns Spanish. Very good. It's vice still, versa. Yes. Yes. It's you're really difficult. It's really difficult. So you're <laughs> sharing knowledge. Yes, but that's good. Conversation. But, but it's nice. It's really nice. So that's why yes. I'm going to send you another thing today. Okay. So don't worry. You're going to learn things. It, it was like email addresses, right? The one that I sent it to you, right, guys? Email addresses. Okay. No. It was, no, I think it was email addresses. Yeah. The listening activity. When I'm going to send it to you, uh, 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 uh -huh. no, I'm going to, yeah, right. I'm going to send it to you dictation for numbers. Especially. When you're ask, when you're asking for somebody's telephone number, okay? Okay. Because they they guys they pronounce zero in a different way. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you gotta um, learn that by heart. They could sometimes um, they say oh, but sometimes they use another thing. Um, mm -hmm. So that's why. And also I'm gonna ask you about names because the H they pronounce it in a different way that you cannot imagine. So, okay. prepare now. 
Okay, guys, let me share right now my screen. And uh, we're going to discuss right now the, uh, the questions. Yeah, can you see my screen, guys? Yeah, right? Yes? Yes. Okay. Yes. This is the first one. You see, this is the first one. Could you tell me where the ATM is? There's another one. Do you know? Do you know where I can catch a bus into the city? Okay. Also, can you tell me how often the they run? They're talking about buses, right? Do you know where the, the restaurants are, etc.? Okay. Very good. Okay, guys. Excellent. Those are the questions here. So here, guys, we're going to learn these two specifically. You see, we have something here, right, guys? T take a look. We have, could you tell me? Now, do you know? Mm -hmm. Can you tell me? Mm -hmm. Do you know? This is like a phrases that we put, but before what kind of um, question, guys? You see? Where, where, how, and w where? Question. Exactly. WH questions. Uh -huh. And guys, take a look at this one. For example, in the first question, in this one, uh, you, can you take a look and see where is the birth here in this particular sentence? The question, sorry. Where is the verb? At the end. At the end. And what kind of verb it is? To be. To be. Okay, yeah. very good. Now, in the second one, there's another verb here. Catch. Yeah. Can. In this case, can is a main verb. But, yeah. but yeah, catch is that uh, you can say the, um, the auxiliary. In the main verb, we have ca a catch here. But yes, can is one of the things that I want you to, to see here. And can you see, guys, that can, it is before the main verb. Okay. Okay, now do me a favor. When you use, can you tell me um, here in this particular question, where is the verb? Run. Yeah. Run. And, yeah. it's at, and it's at the end, right? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. And here also happens the same. All right. Okay. Why I'm asking you to take a look at this? Ah, because of one reason, guys. All of these guys that we are talking that we have highlighted is what we call guys in English indirect questions. Uh, why I'm teaching you this kind of questions, guys? Because basically they are more like, how can I say? They are more polite. Polite. And they are more formal. Okay. Mm -hmm. And they use it, guys, basically when you are meeting somebody for the first time, when you arrive into the restaurant, for example, when you arrive into a hotel, which is the scenario that we're uh, talking about right now. And when you arrive to a bus terminal, to a train terminal, when you arrive to the first place and you don't know the persons, right? And you want to ask for directions for something, uh, mm -hmm. that's the best way to to proceed let me search right now with you you see we have guys um these two things i'm going to divide it into two here there you go i'm going to divide it into two and i want you guys to take a look at this person right now you see i was explaining to you guys we have dollars question with b we have with do and we have with can very good take a look at this ones right now only the left side you see, normally, guys, this is the way that we're going to formulate a question with, uh, with B, with WS question. Where is the nearest ATM? Is that right? Where is the nearest ATM? Or where are the restrooms? Is that, is that correct? That is the normal way to ask. Yes or no? Yes. 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 Very good. Yes, How but. Yes, exactly. It's However, not polite. It, it is, it is not is. But uh, it's, it depends on how, the tone of voice that you use it. But if mm -hmm. you want, for example, to sound more polite, not only that way you say it, 
but the way that it sounds is using indirect questions. So take a look at this, guys. We put, we use, could you tell me, or do you know? Either or is fine. Mm -hmm. After those expressions, could you tell me where you know? Then you put where, where the nearest ATM. But take a look at this, guys. I want you guys to take a look because on the regular question, is it is uh, right next to a WH question, is it right? Yeah. But when you translate it into you use it in the indirect way, the is is going to be at the end of the question. That is one of the difference. You said regularly, where is the nearest ATM? Indirect way, could you tell me where the nearest ATM is? You see? That, that's why it is highlighted in bold color because I want you guys to take a look at that. That is right now, if we are using indirect questions uh, with B, with WH questions with B. And let a look on the second one as well. Where are the restrooms? Do you know where the restrooms are? You see? There you go. It's exactly the same way. Uh, let me ask you guys, this first type of question, um, do you have any 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 doubts about it? Can we move on? Yes. yes. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Now, guys, take a look at this. WH questions we do. Normally, we use how often do the buses run? Okay. What time does the bookstore open? A. Take a look at this because we use do, right? Oh. Because we're talking about bosses. This is regular, it's um, plural, right? And we use does because we're talking about bookstore, right? Okay, and take a look about something else. Here, guys, in, in the first question, how often do the bosses run? You see, run is the main verb. Is that correct? Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. And in the second one, a open is the main verb. We know that we're talking about one single bookstore, but we do not put it in a third person because we already have the auxiliary in third person. But now take a look at this. I underrate questions. When we use it, we do, we can use, can you tell me? Or also we can use, do you know? But this one and the first one doesn't change as much. The only thing, guys, that changes is that when you translate it into under a question, look what happened here. Here I have the do, but in this one, do I have the do on this one? No. 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 So the do disappears. Okay, you can say, it. how often do the, do the buses run regularly? And under a way, can you tell me how often the buses run? You don't, don't use the do anymore. What about if it's a third person singular? What time does the bookstore open? Well, when you translate it into under a question, what do you, do you know what time the bookstore opens? You see what happened here? Yeah, as, as Exactly. In this case, an indirect way, since you don't use it the does, you gotta put the verb in third person. Okay? When you, when you translate in, WH question with do into indirect way, okay? You don't use do, you don't use does, but if you use does and you wanted to translate it into indirect question, you have to uh, take out the does and transform the verb into third person. Is it clear? Yeah? Yeah. yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah. Uh, let's move on to the third one. Let me change it. Yes, go ahead, girl. I, I have a question. Okay, cool. Cool, cool. Go ahead. Why in this one uh, is in third person? What time does the bookstores open and how often do the buses run? Why, why, why in, in the both uh, questions are um, things, bookstores and bus, buses? Ah, uh, no, 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 no. Take a look. Take a look. Let me go back. I know, I, I think I understand your question. No, take a look. <clears throat> in the first one, in this one, this is in, in, the, in the left side. How often do the buses run? 
This is plural, buses, run. That's why we use auxiliary do, and we use the verb in present. But if you translate it into indirect way, you don't use the does here, but you keep the word buses because here is not third person. Here is plural. Mm -hmm. Do you understand this one? But, but if why, I don't know why I can say how often does the bus run? You, uh, if you're, uh, if, uh, well, you can say how often does the bus run if you're talking about one bus and if you don't know that only one bus mm -hmm. passes through that city. But imagine, for example, let me go back. Im imagine that, for example, in the, in the downtowns, right? Or in the little pueblitos here in El Salvador, right? We know that only one route passes to that city or to that town, is that correct? So also in that case, you can use how often does the bus run? Mm -hmm. And if you translate it into an indirect question, you can say, do you know how often the bus runs? Because you know that it's only one route, only for only route 26 or 138, exactly. But here in the city, we know guys that there are not only one route. We have 42A, 42C, we have 101D, 101C, we have 44, 27, five, et cetera, right? Yeah. So in this case, we're gonna use how often do the buses run? Or if you translate it into indirect way, do you know how often the buses run? Because there are more, there are more routes than one, than only one. I don't know if I make my myself understand it. Yes. Yes, Ceci. Yes. Yes. So that yeah, who asked me the question? Was Ceci or who I Lisette? Lisette, right? What's Lisette. One? Now, Liz, is it understandable? Liz. Yes. Yes. Do you understand that? Yeah. Yes. Okay. No. Who made the question? Because I was, I couldn't see you guys when when somebody made the question. Who who made the question? Was Ceci or was Liz? Liz. Claudia, right? I am. Uh, Claudia, Claudia, Claudia. Is it understandable? Yes. Yes. Okay. Okay. That that was the reason. Yes. Of course, you can change it. Depends of the of the situation, right? But regularly in the city, we know that there's a lot of routes. So that's why we use do the buses run. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, and is, is it understandable this one? Yes. Okay, let me go ahead. And finally, the other one, guys. Um, the last one. There you go. Okay, yes, this one. Okay, this is going to be the last one because I have another body here. And the last one, guys. Uh, questions with Ken. Where can I catch the bus? You see, can always, guys, goes after the WH questions. And if you translate it into under a question, all you gotta say, do you know where I can catch the bus? You see that the subject moves. Here you said, where can I? And under a question, you said, where I can. You see it? Yes. That's the main difference. Okay, guys, so I'm going to send it to you um, an exercise later on. That will be, uh, the questions will be on a direct way, the regular way that we formulated. And your job will be, guys, to transform them into under a question. You said under a question with B, we do, or we can. Okay? okay. Guys, okay. I know I love you love me. I love you too, but it's time to say goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye. Okay. okay. Hi, Sakisas. I gotta go to all the class. Bye bye. Take okay, care. Bye. Take care. Take care. Take care.